Hi, I'm Richard Carlton. Welcome to the Coach's Corner. My name is Christian Olson, and I'm one of the FileMaker coaches here at Richard Carlton Consulting. For this Coach's Corner, I'm going to demo a technique that I use to move items in a portal. I'll briefly be touching on a couple of topics, including portal source and script parameters. For context, my customer solution required attaching multiple salespeople to invoices in order of who was the primary or secondary salesperson. To resolve this issue, we added a portal sort using scripts. First, I'm going to demonstrate this as a finished product. So if we had an invoice here and we attached a couple salespeople to it, I would get the ability here, as you notice, say we have John, Miles, and Jason. And if Jason ended up being the primary salesperson, I could move him up the portal as such. First, in order to do this, you're going to need to turn on FileMaker's built-in portal sort, which I will show to you right now. You go into layout mode and double-click on any portal in FileMaker. You're going to get your portal setup options. And if you go to specify sort, you can decide what to sort that portal by. The second thing that you're going to need to do is attach the pieces of this portal to a single script. Now, this could be done with several scripts. I opted to uh, leverage FileMaker's powerful calculation engine to have it done in one script using script parameters. So on our field here, if I right click on it and I go to set script triggers, you'll notice that I have it calling a script with a parameter. Similarly, each of our buttons here do the same thing, calling the same script but with a different parameter. What this does is when it calls this script, we have a section that checks to make sure that two people are not selected at the same time. We have a selection on deleting a portal row, but we have the heart and guts down here. Our first step here actually sets the portal sort number, which I'll show you next. And right down here allows you to change the sort number. Now the trick here is that you aren't just changing the sort number of the one that you're affecting, but you are also affecting the one that is directly above it or directly below it as such. I'm going to add someone on here. So we have Mackenzie at number one. We have David at number two. And we have Oscar at number three. But as I move Oscar from the three to two position, I need to also move David from the two to three position. And you'll see that happening on screen here. Conversely, when we delete something, we need to make sure that we adjust and reserialize all those numbers. That will conclude the Coach's Corner. If you have any questions or are interested in the coaching program, please send an email to support at rcconsulting.com. If you want to learn more about portals and scripts, check out our training video courses at learningfilemaker.com. And make sure you grab a copy of our free fully unlocked solution, FM Starting Point, at fmstartingpoint.com.